All other views and opinions expressed here are those of the individual speaking and may not be representative of Coding American. At times, language may be considered vulgar. Listener discretion is suggested. You are now listening to the Coding Behind the Wheel podcast. What's going on, everybody? I'm Scott from Koenig. With me is Nick, still from Koenig, <laughs> for the short period of time. And, uh, and we're here. We're back. Well, Wheel Wednesday, we have made it back around. We hope that your week is going well. And before we get into this podcast, make sure you like and subscribe. Wow. I, I remember this time, it's and we, time. we are in there. Anyhow, so please make sure you take care of that. Uh, we're trying to bring you some more content. I know there's been a little bit of a lapse on the Friday stuff, but we are working on things to put up there just bear with us we got a lot going on especially the SEMA kind of um, around the corner well not not ex- not doing it we've had to do some of these virtual shows so um, so that's in the area there um, let's see we're wearing jackets it's very cold today um, yeah, it's, it's that time of year I walked out of my house this morning and I was like oh. it's free yeah it's it's cold I, I tried so hard not to I was like nope need a jacket yep. Um, let's see. So before, as we get into this podcast, I want to quickly tell you what it's about right now. So if you've just tuned in for a few seconds, uh, you understand what this is about. So you saw the title of, of this podcast and you're thinking to yourself, okay, so what's the catch? Well, so here's the deal. We get a lot of requests for sponsorship. We get a ton of them. A whole bunch. We've also done a lot of sponsorship content to be able to try to bring you some things you should do and you should don't do. And and most of the time, the sponsorship proposals that we're getting seem not to watch those videos. Yeah. But what we decided to do is we're allowing somebody... All right. So we would like you to send in your sponsorship proposals. We want you to send them to marketing at Koenig Wheels dot com and in the subject put sponsorship critique now hold on before you do let me explain what this is about so you don't get upset <laughs> you, you just stop somebody that was like about to click on right. the, on the send button yeah You're like, wait don't don't do it <laughs> so here's the deal we have decided that we will allow people that are actively looking for a sponsorship if you are looking for a sponsorship right now send us your sponsorship proposals if you're okay with the next part, <laughs> um, we're basically going to take your sponsorship proposals and hopefully next week we are going to critique them. In other words, we're going to tell you what's good about them, what's bad about them. If you would really be able to be sponsored by us, is it, or is it something that we're looking for? And what kind of sponsorship would be eligible for you? Right. Now, we will blank everybody's names out on this. So, I was just about to say that. No, yes, like no one's names are going to be out there, right. uh, In the world, for we are not. To see. We're not doing one of those things where it's going to be like Josh from this or you know at. We're jo- not. Josh's proposal is such garbage. Right. Like, we're calling you out. No. Yep. Like, well, it's it's just to give some advice on your sponsorship proposal and where Scott, especially having done this so long thinks that it could use some improvement. Right. So um, now, in this course, if you if we happen to look at a sponsorship proposal that's good, we'll sponsor. Like, it's not one of that. So I don't want this to be, like, this isn't a, um, a false sense of hope. Uh, however, I will tell you that it would go according to any sponsorship proposal that would come in. So we're, there's not going to be, like, a, there's not a special piece to this if we don't find anybody that would be eligible or um be of a fit right now then there won't be one given but what we plan to do is if you send your sponsorship proposal in we will give you we will break it down and go through your sponsorship proposal and basically tell you the parts that are valuable the parts that need work the parts that may be deterring you from getting other companies to sponsor you and the part where you may be missing things that are completely relevant. Mm-hmm. And so we'll, we'll, we'll walk you through that. And if we get a few of them, it would be great to be able to kind of use them as example and be able to give you the real deal on to what somebody like myself or uh, another marketing 
um, director or manager would really look at when they're trying to assess if a person is supplying enough value that would mean a good relationship could come out of, of a sponsorship. And that's really what it's, what it's very much about. So, so that's, that's the plan. And we would, we, you know, listen, if you have a sponsorship uh, proposal that you'd like to send in, um, we are not dictating the format. We are not dictating what, send in the sponsorship proposal that you think would be, well, one, that you would send to, to get a sponsorship, and two, um, that you think is the best version of what you would like to submit. And uh, with that said, you know, we want it to be as natural as possible, and we will go through, and I think at the very least, if we get a few of these sponsorship proposals where people are willing to have them critiqued, again, we'll blank out your name, anything like that, then I think what will happen is there will be a very, very granular and contextual uh, conversation that will come out of it that will allow you to really know what kind of things are being neglected in a sponsorship proposal, what kind of things are being looked for in a sponsorship proposal, and what kind of things really need a lot of thought and and careful presentation when you put a proposal together. And when you put that together, I really think that you'll have a really good shot of doing one of two things. One, you'll have a good shot of being sponsored. Or two, you'll have a good um, understanding of what things you need to put on your own checklist to be able to try to improve on or try to uh, develop so that you can submit a proposal where it actually would have the value that a lot of these companies are looking for. Right. So I was just about to touch on that. So like, and what Scott's talking about is not just doing like, you know, all right, I'm going to make my proposal look better or just like throw things in that will make that, that I can't really offer that will make people want to sponsor me uh, you know because the whole purpose of a sponsorship proposal is showing a company that the value you can actually give to them so it's more so going to be one of those things on like what you can improve on um not only in the proposal itself but also like things you can improve to add value to maybe something that that company might want to see or, right or a company might want to see that'll mm-hmm. make them want to sponsor you over some of the other sponsorship proposals that they're getting. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, we'll do our best to give you real tangible tips uh, that allow you to assess what needs to be different or, or put into these proposals. And a lot of times, you know, I mean, should you have a good-looking proposal? I think it helps. Uh, should you have a proposal that shows that you've clearly outlined your program and what kind of things you'll deliver? Yes. Uh, should you should you be able to deliver a proposal that really does have a, a somewhat tangible return on investment? The answer is yes. So those are givens, and that's just the nature of sponsorship, which is why I get so dismissive when people say things like, "Yo, sponsor me. <laughs> Yo, sponsor my boy." It's Yo, like... I could bring, I could bring, I could bring you to to a neck to the new level. I can. You know what I mean? Like, but it's like that's okay, not, like that's not like, real. Like, that's what that, are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? It's what's, not real. What's this new level that uh, you know hundreds of people have every week? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so and so when when people say things like, you know, um, you know, you know, y'all are missing out. Like, I I got this thing. Like, what 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 do you have? Like, making these general statements. It, it, you're not saying anything, and and so we're going to help you say say something. That's Pretty what much. we're going to do. Um, and at the very worst, you're going to come away if you submit a proposal to be critiqued. You're going to come away with an understanding of oh, here's what I'm not bringing to the table that's costing me from being considered for sponsorships. Right, and you know I'm I'm pretty sure Scott mentioned this already, but this isn't like. This isn't to call anybody out. Right. It's not to right. to bash your sponsorship mm-hmm. proposals. Uh, it's just one of those things where it's like we want to help you improve your sponsorship proposals. You right. know, we want to see you guys get sponsored or possibly sponsor you. So, right. um, 
you know, it's it's not one of those negative things where like, you know, we're gonna be looking at it and be like, Oh, like this sponsorship proposal sucks. Like this guy mm-hmm. is totally like off. It's just gonna be one of those things where like, oh like it could use some improvement here or Yeah, like well, you know. here's what I here's what I'm looking for that I, I don't see or here's why when I look at this stuff I don't think we would consider it for sponsorship because it's missing this, 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 or it doesn't say this, or it needs to say this, or whatever it may be. Um, and, and also, again, just to clarify, we will blank any names out, any um, you know specific addresses if you put them there, like an email address. Um, and depending on how the images come in, we may not even show any vehicle images um, from the proposals that are submitted. Uh, and right. we'll, we'll Cause talk that, about cause, them because that might be a little bit of a giveaway of a giveaway. Yeah. Um, and I don't want know, this to and, be, and I don't want this may, to be negative. I, I think we might even be able to just be mentioning the cars that they are. I think that's yeah. big enough. Yeah. But you know, we won't, um, we won't show any images or anything like that yeah. of like the actual cars. We'll blur those out or, or blank them out or whatever. Right. And just to, to, to go back onto why, you know, I, I was talking about this with Nick, uh, just the other day. The reason why I think this may be helpful is, you know, we've tried to put out, we've, all right, so the people that are pretty avid watchers uh, right now or listeners, we're still recording. Yeah, I just, Uh, anxiety from previous podcasts. I got a, I got a, I'm with Nick. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm on your own. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. (laughs) Um, So, so. You know, Nick and I were talking the other day, no matter, you know, for the, our loyal followers, watchers, listeners, whatever, uh, you guys know that we've put out plenty of co- sponsorship stuff. In fact, some oh, yeah. comments will be, all right, enough with the sponsorship stuff. So the question is, if that's really what's happening, why do we receive so many sponsorship requests or proposals that are just Swiss cheese you know, there's so many holes in them. I mean, I, I kind of have a theory. Um, well, that not everybody watches the stuff. Yeah, I get, I mean, I get it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I also, and not to say that everybody does this, but there are also some of those people out there that just kind of like are looking for companies and sending stuff to all companies just to kind of see what they could get without being actual fans or, yeah. or consuming our content or really even knowing anything on it about the Koenig brand. Right. Uh, but then you have those that actually do know about the Koenig brand and really mm-hmm. stand out and... Yeah. bring you know what they can offer to the table um and those really kind of just different differentiate yeah. the two types of sponsorship proposals yeah and and I'll, I'll i'll bring one pro tip up that just came to my mind be very careful if you are developing a blanket email and just changing the company's name <laughs> on that email and you're sending out to 50 different companies i would say Two things happen to that we receive all the time. The first thing is <laughs> the wrong we company. chronically receive <laughs> an email where you forgot that you either mentioned the company multiple times and forgot to change one of them, or you totally forgot to change the company, or you sent the wrong email part and you sent it to the wrong company. Because immediately, most likely, you're getting deleted. Uh, the next thing I would say... Someone sends in something from like, hey, um, we love your engines, like, or your, no, your, no, your no. engine parts. That doesn't, know. that doesn't usually happen, but, but, um... Trying to get like a K-Tune sponsorship from us. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to send one of those around, you really do need to do the homework. And the reason is because, like, we have, we, we develop multiple brands, Oh, <laughs> I know where and, this is going. Uh, so, so you'll get, we'll get like, um, is it one of those things where like you get an email on like the, the Koenig? E- well, it, 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 all, it, it all goes to the same email, right? No. No? Oh, so is it one of those things where like you get an email from the same person on the Avanti and then on the Koenig? Right. Like maybe even on the Mamba? Well, I mean, they're hopefully different because they're just, they're different, um, they're yeah, different product but, types. But you'll but see but the same names or... Or yeah, we'll see the same. We'll see the same email come in uh, almost back to back, um, and, and and so when that happens, you know the first thing you know is this person's shopping. They're not really interested in your company. They're not really interested in, in being super loyal. They're just looking for something. They're yeah. looking for things. Uh, that works sometimes with 
Like when you see professional race teams or whatever, you there's an understanding that you know that there's a, a like cost they, for like them need, to run their program. Yeah, like they need product in order to to be racing. So they're yeah, yeah. So so there's that, but but you know, for the average person looking for let's say a set of wheels to go to shows or whatever it may be, um, it's a real it's a real turnoff to a lot of companies when you, when you do that. So so do your research, be thoughtful about what you're looking to do and who you're looking to apply to. Uh, you know, I've always been a pretty big advocate, you know, in, in one's past that you should really approach the companies that you ultimately want to be with. Work. You know, you want to work with, yeah. You, um, you know, don't, don't search out the company that will give you things. Search out the company that you feel like you could develop a relationship with. And, yeah, it may take uh, a year or two or whatever it may be, but if you do that the right way, you could have a very long-lasting relationship where they become very comfortable with you, and you become an intricate part of kind of their brand ambassador reach type thing. Right. It's one of those things where it's like quality over quantity. Like, oh, yeah. Like in, in the long run, like, I don't know, maybe a five, ten-year span, like would you rather have a whole bunch of different companies where like – you know, you you started with this company and then you went to another one the following year because they gave you something. And the next one and like each one only gave you like one thing. I mean, like it, it, in the automotive world, you can run out of companies fairly yeah. quickly of people that are going to give you stuff. So eventually, like it's just going to run out. Or would you rather have the one company where it's like I built a relationship with them, I've been with them for years, I believe in their product, they always help me out. Yeah, I always help them out, and now you have, you know, you can keep going and getting whatever type of product it is or whatever type of relationship you can just keep building that and growing that you know yeah Um, yeah it's true that's like which one would you rather have right yeah i mean it you know it's it's the difference between the long-term relationship and just looking for for something and so so that's one of those things you know just make sure that you're being careful when you do stuff like that and uh and less super pet peeve i have plenty of them but (laughs) but my last super pet peeve is do not send an email to yourself and cc every single company and their email addresses (laughs) below (laughs) furthermore do not send an email to yourself and blind copy every one of those companies as soon as you do that everybody knows that you're sending it to everybody um and some of the funniest exchanges I've seen are the ones where people do CC all companies, and randomly you'll start seeing companies respond with, because I'm sure you have plenty they, of other choices. Be, because uh, they do, like, reply all, so that way everybody can, can, yeah, they'll see, do reply can all. see their responses. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> That's funny. There's the kiss of death on, on some of those. Uh, you know, people have done that before, and yeah, I've, seen, you black I've seen an email uh, really quick turn pretty tragic uh, as people deny because then there's almost this train of denying that happens Mm -hmm. and uh, you know we usually wouldn't reply to one of those at all but um, I've seen that go pretty bad for the person and now uh, in a single email in a span of just a couple of hours they've managed to really blackball themselves from getting sponsored pretty much from every company in the segment so (laughs) don't do that Um, it's not a good look and I've seen it go sideways pretty quickly. So I guess with that said, um, there's not too much more yeah, I mean, with, for us to talk about with, today. Without getting into you know some of, the, some of the things on sponsorship proposals, one, because we've already done it on several occasions, yeah. you can go check out our podcast and videos. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, next week we're going to really dive into – the sponsorship proposals. So yeah. the ones that you guys sent in, we're gonna go. We're gonna dive in deep. We're gonna look at them, analyze them. Scott and I will break them down, see what works, what yep. doesn't work. Um, so we won't really get into too right. much of that today, or any of that today. And so. you know what I'll say is, if we end up getting a, a fair number of proposals, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee that we're gonna get that many, because I think that first off, you have to have a sponsorship proposal that you want to send, right? So it's, right. it, it kind of have to be ready. In a week's period of time, and the second thing is that you know you do you are putting yourself out there. Even if we, um, you know, um, blank out all the name and particulars, like you know, you may not want to hear. It's a lot easier getting an email that says, "No, I'm sorry, you're not a good fit at this time," right. versus having your uh, thoughts broken down. 
But uh, we're not going to do it in a negative way, and it's really there for a learning, teaching purpose, and that's all it's for. So hopefully, really, it would be an invaluable service for somebody that really is at that point where they're looking for sponsorship right. and, uh, and is trying to put a proposal in. So, but if we do get a, a lot of them mm-hmm. or, or more than a few, um, what we will do is maybe we'll do um, you know, reviews on more than a few of them and we'll break them down into individual podcasts, but we won't wait a week in between to put them out. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, if we, if, we, if we get, let's say if we get, you know, even 10 of them, which I think is a lot, but let's say we get 10 of them, uh, you know, maybe we'll take the, the top, you know, four that we think have good exa- learning examples or teaching examples. Do them here and then do smaller ones. And yeah, we'll, or, or, or maybe what we'll do is we'll do like, you know, some basic pieces and then we'll actually do one podcast on each one of the proposals maybe. but we'll break it these, down these are these are all maybes but uh, well, yeah because we don't I know just, if we're gonna get any next week we could be coming to you with an, <laughs> a completely uh, different topic <laughs> <laughs> that's right um what so so one last thing before we get out of here is yeah you, so you actually just said uh they have a, a, a week to put a sponsorship proposal together um yeah. that's actually a little, a little inaccurate um so i would say today is the 15th um and i'm gonna give an actual date so that way people know Wait, today's what not the 15th. To today's the 16th. Today's the 16th. Sorry, you're right. So today's the 16th. Right. Um, I would say have them into us by the 22nd. By the 22nd. Yeah. The t- that right. that way, on the 23rd, when we film our podcast, uh, we'll have all of them laid out and ready. And you know, you don't send it into us, and it's like, oh well, you know, we got it kind of. Yeah. Later on, I would say let's put a hard deadline of noon, Eastern Standard Time. On the 22nd. On the 22nd? Oh, yeah, yeah, so that way just we actually have time to, to go through to, them. To, like, yeah. look at them and, and go through them. Um, yeah. And if you're able to do them any faster than that, great. Uh, and really, I mean, I really think we will tackle any proposal that comes in. So you don't have to worry. If it's a show proposal, we'll attack it. If it's a – not attack it, but we'll, we'll go through it. If it's a – if it's a race team proposal, we'll go through it. If it's an influencer proposal, we'll go through it. If it's a combination of proposals of, of those type of things, we'll go through it. So wherever you stand or whatever you're looking, if you're interested in doing this, please go ahead and, and send it in. I think that you really not only could help yourself, but you could help a lot of other people that may be yeah. stuck in a similar boat. Yeah. yeah. Uh. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. So I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, We're hoping to have a piece of content out for this Friday, so look out for that. Um, And tell all your friends. Call every friend that you know and tell them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. All of them. Uh, Because, frankly, that would just be the nice thing to do. (laughs) Um, But with that said, uh, we hope you have a good week. Take care of yourself, and we will catch you next week. Take care. Peace out. Oh, wait a minute. We go live every Wednesday on Instagram and Facebook (laughs) at 3 p.m. Eastern. (laughs) So swing through, hang out with us for a little bit. Uh, And if you have any questions about this, it's a good time to answer there. Yeah. So now we will catch you later. (laughs) Take care. (laughs)